So David Duke, the former grand wizard of the KKK, is running for a Senate seat from the state of Louisiana being vacated by U.S. Senator David Vitter. Now, nobody in the state seems overly happy about having a, you know, former leader of the largest uh, racist organization in this country uh, running for their Senate seat. So this past weekend, uh, Louisiana legislators, uh, Louisiana party leaders got together to come up with a plan to make sure that this stuck kind of thing didn't happen. And so what did they do when they drafted that plan? They decided, screw it, we don't need to do this. This is a little bit too oppressive even for us. Um, basically, the plan that they had laid out was that if uh, any candidate had a felony on their record, as David Duke does, uh, they weren't gonna let them run for office as a Republican. Furthermore, uh, if they didn't have a felony, but you know had some questionable ties, if the state Republican party uh, voted three fourths, then that person would not be allowed to call themselves a Republican in an election. They wouldn't get the R, they wouldn't get the party's official backing, and the party would still be free to run another Republican. Um, but Louisiana Republicans, you know, they, they don't really hate David Duke. They're pretty much all David Duke. I guarantee you a lot of them know him personally. And so they decided, you know what? We're just gonna let racists run it. We're gonna see what happens. Maybe it's gonna work out for us. I don't know. This, this is sick. This is, you know, Louisiana is in horrible shape right now. Their economy sucks and half the state is underwater right now. I mean, they really have nothing going for them at the moment. And so they just say to hell with it. We're gonna let this former grand wizard try to fix things. I hope they understand that grand wizard doesn't mean he actually was like some kind of Harry Potter wizard. He has no magical powers other than the powers of bigotry and hatred. That is David Duke. That is Louisiana at the moment. But yeah, you guys had the perfect opportunity to stand up and say, look, with all this talk of racism all over the country, with all of these horrible, horrible things we see happening, we're gonna take a stand and show that we will not be as racist as uh, the rest of the Republican Party. But they failed to do it. Good for you, Louisiana Republicans.